If you type the word Gothic into Google, you're likely to get about 250 million hits. This will introduce you to everything from bone-chilling literature to opportunities to buy alternative footwear. If you type the word Goth into Google, you'll find the ancient barbarians who sacked Rome, and you'll also find a contemporary rock music subculture. What do these have in common? Is there a single history of the Gothic that can be written? Well, that's what this very short introduction aims to do. So we do begin with those ancient barbarian tribes uh, who overran the Roman Empire. We then move into medieval architecture um, and the different orders um, of ecclesiastical uh, buildings. Uh, we look at popular culture um, in terms of revenge tragedy um, and uh, popular ballads. We look at 17th century political theory and the way that the Gothic was mobilised um, in um, debates about the nature of the constitution um, and civil wars. We then move into the 18th century um, and look at the revival of Gothic building practices and of course the inception of the Gothic novel um, itself. We then move into movies, uh, looking at the uh, advent uh, of horror films, um, of vampire and werewolf uh, cinema. And finally, uh, we end up after this broad history uh, with a contemporary um, rock music um, subculture um, characterised by spiky hair um, and even spikier electric guitars. It's a broad subject. Uh, it ranges over a whole number of issues that have all been associated with Gothic and it even includes references to guinea pigs and hurdy-gurdies.